today I am doing a six layer bean dip. Not sure how people make it into seven layers, but anyway, mine is gonna be about six or seven layers um, bean dip for the game today. And I have my Peruvian beans. These are one of my favorite, favorite beans, okay? And as you can see, I got them on sale for $1.50 at Walmart yesterday. So we're about to go ahead and let these soak for a few hours. Then we will put them in our pot to cook. When you're cooking beans, you kind of want to go through them because sometimes they be having beans in here that be looking like a hot mess. They be having rocks. Here's the perfect example. You don't want to just be cooking any and any old thing. Let's look through these and see what we can find. These look like they are pretty good batch of beans. If you have having like half pieces of beans, you want to take those out too. Is that a half bean? There's that one. See, that one's a half a bean, not even a whole one. There goes something that looks funny. Look at that. Look at this. This one, it looks all deformed. We're gonna take that out just in case. We don't wanna be eating no deformed beans, okay? Another half bean. There's a lot of half beans in here. Go ahead and take that out. This one looks kind of weird. Look at that. It's a weirdo right there. this one. No good. Okay, I think that's about it. There's another half one. Take that out. All right. So looks like we're good to put these, uh-uh. I see you. You're just trying to hide. Look at that. Okay, I think we're good to go ahead and soak these bad boys before we cook them. As y'all can see, I have two Amazon boxes here. Let's see what I bought, y'all. Okay, in this box we have, what is this? This doesn't look like what I ordered, but I guess it is. Oh, okay, I can see now. It's two of them. Okay, so these are corner shells that I bought and I'm gonna install these in front of my work desk area in my room because I don't like the way it's set up and reset that up. Let's see what's in our second box. I saw another YouTuber using these knives when she was cooking and my son said I needed to get some knives sharp enough to cook with but pointy enough to be able to stab somebody just in case they try to come into our house. So the eat neat, chop neat comes with these knives, one, two, three, four, five knives, a knife sharpener and a cutting board. 
12 cut 12 piece cutting board and knife set yep and there it goes includes a knife sharpener so i'm excited to use these today to uh prepare our meal prep hey y'all so here i'm doing a voiceover because my pastor was preaching in the background it is sunday meal prep sunday i'm just chopping off the fat off of our chicken breast and chopping it up as you can see i'm using our eat neat knives to chop this up and it is working well i do recommend these knives for anybody that would like to try them out and no this video is not sponsored after i finish chopping the chicken you will see me add tenderizer to it and it may look like a lot of tenderizer but it actually isn't remember this is chicken breast and we do want it to taste tender and i do eventually wash the tenderizer off before i start cooking the chicken All right, fam, as you can see, I have all my veggies cleaned and ready to go. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and chop my veggies up while my beans are cooking and, and our chicken is sitting in its tenderizer. But look at this, y'all. Look how big this jalapeno is. It's super humongous. Look, it's bigger than my hand. Why? Okay, the jalapeno is for our beans because i like a little spice for my beans then we got our green bell peppers for our fajitas and y'all probably thinking why she doesn't have a variety unfortunately i only like green the other ones they are okay for other things but when it comes to eating them with fajitas i only like the green bell peppers and then i have my tomatoes this is going to be for our bean dip and look at these tomatoes y'all these to bank these tomatoes are humongous as well my cilantro also for the bean dip and then i want to try to make some i don't know what happened to this one this is a rough zucchini i don't know if it got beat up from being put in the bag and in the refrigerator or what or i just wasn't paying attention but yeah this one is all beat up but we're gonna just cut that off but I have these zucchini because I want to try to make some Parmesan zucchini fries in the air fryer for today. And then this uh, green onion or scallions is also for our bean dip. Okay, so y'all let's get ready to chop it up. So our beans have finished soaking and now they're boiling. And you see that what I like to do is like boil them one time and get all the crusty stuff off. Even though you wash them, once you boil them, it kind of cleans them. I like to rinse this off and then put more clean water and then put all my ingredients to cook them, my seasonings and everything to cook them. So we about to pour this water off and put some clean water, then put all of our salt, pepper, um, onion, and jalapeno. So as y'all can see, the water is nice and clear now. We rinsed the beans off. Now we're gonna put our seasoning and other ingredients in them. So I'm gonna add some onion. This is the same onion that I was supposed to use last. These are beans. I'm gonna go ahead and add some regular salt to make sure that they're good and seasoned. And I'm also going to add some jalapeno and just let that keep cooking. Put our top, we're not gonna put our top all the way on because once it starts boiling, it's gonna come out the pot. 
So we're gonna just leave our top like that to allow the air to come out the pot, okay? If we keep it closed, all the heat is gonna build up and cause the water to spill out. If we just keep it like that, it'll let all the air come out and allow our beans to continue to boil. Alrighty, y'all, let's go ahead and start cutting up our vegetables. We are gonna go ahead and start with our fajitas. The vegetables we need for our fajitas. What I'm gonna do is chop all the heads off, take all the cores out. So here, what I'm doing is chopping up onions for our bean dip. I have to chop them up very fine because my kids do not like onions and the dip calls for onions. So I have to chop them up very thinly and fine so that way they won't taste the onions. So now I'm chopping up our tomatoes. I absolutely hate chopping tomatoes. So what I did was chop a little bit on camera and the rest off camera and you will see the ending results. Okay, so as you can see, our bowl of tomatoes is full. Now we are going to proceed in chopping up our cilantro.
So as y'all can see, we have our veggies cut up so nicely. Our chicken is done tenderizing and we're about to season it. And of course, we are going to use our complete seasoning. You know, that's what I season all my food with. And this is gonna taste extra good because even though we're seasoning it, and you know this has onion in it already, we're also using onion to cook with. Make sure that's properly coated. And I thought I didn't have any fajita seasoning, but I found some up in the cabinet. So make sure it's good and seasoned. And we're gonna go ahead and pop. Pop, pop, pop it in our frying pan. Our extra virgin olive oil spray. Turn this on high. The chicken cooking on high because I like my chicken brown and you don't want to turn it too soon you want it to get nice and brown on one side and I have it up high so it can help I also have it on high so it can help get all the water evaporate all the water out of the pot or out of our pan Once you see that white peeping through, then that means it's almost time to turn it over because it's already done on one side. Look at this little piece of chicken. I'm gonna do it that. You see that? Nice, it's giving us a nice brown. Now that our chicken is almost done, I like to add my veggies after the chicken. Got a little seed in there. I don't know if that's from the bell pepper or the jalapeno. And our Lori's chicken fajita seasoning. Go ahead and sprinkle that all over our veggies and our chicken. And then we're just 
just pour a tad bit of water in there. you guys can smell it through your phone or video or YouTube your tablet whatever device you're using to watch this video I wish y'all had the ability to smell it because it smells super duper bomb you may need to add a little bit more water This look done. I don't want my bell peppers to cook too much. My bell peppers and onions. I don't like when they're mushy and smushy. When I'm doing my meal prep, I like to cook one of the hardest meals first. And my lunch usually is the hardest. And my dinner and breakfast are usually the easiest. My dinner, usually when I get home, I'm not hungry. So I just kind of throw something together for dinner. That's easy to put together because by that time I'm tired and don't feel like being bothered. So sometimes I don't eat anything but food for dinner. That looks good. Okay, y'all. So our beans are looking good. I had to turn them up a little bit because we need these suckers to hurry up and cook. Okay, the Super Bowl is about to start in a few hours. And I want to be done cooking everything by the time it starts. So, well, come on, beans. There we go. I see you. All right, come on. Get with it. Come on. Okay, y'all. Now we're about to cook our other chicken. Of course, we're using our olive oil. For our uh, dinner, we're going to have some chicken wraps. So, we have our chicken cooking in here. And I just spray some Miss Dash on there. So they don't burn. I'm gonna just go ahead and spray the pan again. Okay, y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm doing a voiceover. We have our pork and we have our eggs. We're gonna go ahead and scramble these eggs and get them prepared for our pork and egg scramble. We are still in church. We're doing our communion and our mortgage burning ceremony via Zoom. So that's why I'm doing my voiceover. We're gonna throw our veggies in a pot, excuse me, in our pan then followed by our ground turkey and our eggs.
Okay, so we're gonna start on our refried beans. I'm gonna take the jalapenos out. I spread it on a frying pan with my favorite. Olive oil, of course. Then we're gonna throw our beans up in our frying pan. Is that normal? Yes. juice over here to the side or bean broth over to the side because we might need it to help soften up our refried beans. Have your masher and just mash your beans like that as they fry in the frying pan. There you have it. Our refried beans are done. So now that our beans are done, that is the first layer of what we are gonna have in our dip. I'm gonna just put it in our pan. The rest of this we're going to use for our meal prep. Okay, y'all. So our meal prep is complete. Let's start off with our lunch. We have our fajitas with our homemade refried beans. And I went ahead and sprinkled a little cheese on top. Looks yummy. Okay. And then for our toppings, we're probably going to have sour cream or maybe we just might use our guacamole this is holy guacamole this is about one carb per serving then for our breakfast you guys missed it in the meal prep this spinach was supposed to actually be a part of this scramble but i forgot so i just did it separately which is okay because it makes it look very lovely i love the way this presentation looks so we have our ground pork and eggs and uh, with our spinach and it looks like a little bit of spinach but you know how spinach shrinks when you cook it then for our dinner we're gonna do wraps so later on or tomorrow i'll take the wraps and throw it in there we're gonna be using our carb balance flour tortillas which is only four grams of net carbs 
70 calories. Most likely I'm just gonna go ahead and eat one wrap. We'll go ahead and throw some spinach in there with a little bit of ranch dressing. And then we have our grilled chicken here. For a snack, we're gonna have our balance breaks. I absolutely love these. They're very convenient and sometimes I'd be so busy at work that I don't even have a snack. Usually I eat these on the way home. So it has seven grams of protein. It's 180 calories and I think it has 12 grams of carbs. Yeah, 12 grams of carbs and only seven grams of sugar, which is okay because none of our other meals contain any sugar and probably more than likely very, very little carbs, right? I think beans have carbs. Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna look that up. And then we have to have a little piece of fruit. So for our other snack, I just have some pineapple spears. I usually get these from Sam's Club. I got them about a week ago and I'm like, I need to hurry up and go ahead and eat these. So this week we're gonna have our pineapple spears for a snack. And there we have it, our meal prep for the week, what I eat in a week to lose weight. I'm very excited about this meal prep because it has most, it has very, very little carbs. Hope you all enjoyed it. You have. our ground beef in there. Is that Amanda Gorman? Put our ground beef real quick. Taco seasoning. So our ground beef is almost done. Take a few spoonfuls out for Bay because he absolutely loves tacos. So he won't eat any of our bean dip because he's just very picky like that. Scoop him out quite a bit for his tacos. And we're ready to go and start layering. So we already have our layer of beans. I want everything to stick together. So I'm going to put a layer of cheese on top of our beans. Beans are really stiff. You can never have too much cheese. On top of 
of our layer of cheese. Let's go ahead and add our ground beef. Here we're going to add our cilantro. Onion and tomato. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Our little pico. And I cut my, if you notice early in the video, I cut my onions really fine because my kids don't like onions. Okay, so after that's done, Go ahead, add our last layer of cheese. ready there it is ready for the oven our dip is done okay y'all so this is my bean dip after it got done I topped mine off with a little guacamole and sour cream and added my chips and it's about to go down okay y'all so next we about to do our parmesan Zucchini fries. We have our breadcrumbs here, our parmesan, our eggs, and our complete seasoning. So we got our bowl here. Just throw some complete in there. Oh. 
take our mixture and put it down in our plate. virgin olive oil. Let's go ahead. I don't know if y'all can see. Dip our zucchini in our egg mixture. And now into our breadcrumb and parmesan mix. Okay, so we have our zucchini sticks in our air fryer. We're gonna go ahead and put them on. I have it on for 24 minutes at 400 degrees, but it's probably not gonna take that long, maybe about 20 minutes. All right, y'all, so here is our Parmesan crusted zucchini. I don't know how they taste. Let me do a taste test. They're pretty hot. Ooh, these suckers is hot. Mmm. Mmm, it's okay. But I think I cooked them too long. We're gonna try that again. Okay, I got another Amazon package. Let's see what it is. Shirts be looking really big, but once you put it on, it's very small. Look at that. It's the melanin for me, honey. It's the melanin. It's the melanin. It's the melanin. Uh, uh. It's the melanin. It's the melanin. 